Rich fam was popping, man. We back with another video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, man, and tell a friend what's going on. I hope y'all feeling happy, feeling rich, feeling love, man. I know y'all are because y'all rich fam. But, uh, as y'all can see, I've been uploading every day, dropping video after video, back how we started. You know what I'm saying? Um, this little video right here, I've been waiting to do this. I've been contemplating on it. You know, I just didn't know how to do it. I guess I was waiting for, waiting for the right time. It's the right time now. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, I'm going to just give y'all a uh, wrap-up of 2020 and 2021. I'm gonna let y'all know what's been going on from January last year to January of this year. You know? And, uh... It's, it's gonna be a little long video, maybe about 20, 30 minutes. But I gotta get it out the way, you know what I'm saying? I gotta get it out the way. Cause I feel like I owe y'all a, a, a summary of what's been going on with my life and why I ain't been uploading on here as much as I used to. Uh, but, uh, so we gonna start 2020. 2020, last year, boom. Uh, by the way, before I even get started, I don't know if y'all can tell or not, but this is a brand new Canon Mark III. Mark III, baby. I went and cashed out on the newest one because I had went to the lake on Father's Day. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get everything on footage. This is my old camera right here. It's my old boy right here. I still got it sitting on rice this is the mark two i don't know how to do that shit but this is the mark two right here this is my baby it's my first camera i bought man first camera i bought right here this was my baby father's day i'm trying to film me catching some fish and stuff but i slipped i slipped off the little river the river bank river thing and fell in the water man and my whole body under the water camera in there too i come from out of the water i'm immediately looking for my camera i'm like where's my camera where's my camera i'm thinking i threw it back you know what i'm saying like threw it on the freaking concrete you know so it didn't fall in the water but i kept that mug in my hand because i didn't think i was gonna fall i'm so quick and swift i was gonna catch myself but i didn't so I had to go cash out on a brand new boy, which is no problem. It was just a minor setback, man. It was real inconvenient. I didn't want to have to spend no money on a new camera because I already had a perfectly good one. But this one's amazing. I love the quality of this one. I love how I don't got to focus. Yeah, I don't got to tap the screen for it to focus. The picture quality is A1. My old camera, my Mark II I just showed y'all, that picture quality was A1. But this one's even better, so picture that picture of that but all right all right, all right. I'm, I'm, I'm jumping all over the place so 2020 i was standing in the hood you know what i'm saying i was standing on the a if you from any in indiana you know what i said you know where i was standing at, you know but standing at hallville on the a worst worst block in hallville you know i ain't bragging or nothing but I was staying over there. It was real rough, man. It was real hard. You know what I'm saying? I was sleeping over there. But I was going through a lot over there, man, trying to change my life around. You feel me? I was trying to change my life around. Me and my son's mom had just split up. We got different places and shit, so I was moving over there. So I had moved over there, chilled, chilled over there for a little while, for like a year. A year and some change, so... Um, you know, it was just rough, man. My son couldn't come over there, spend a the night, because there was a lot going on in that crib, man. So I had to go all the way out south to see him. You know what I'm saying? Putting up with my son's um, grandma, you know what I'm saying? You know, he's his, his mom's side of the family, you know. Putting up with them folks, you know, you know they don't, 
they ain't really for nothing real like me. But you know, they are alright. I mean, but you know, they, they ain't nothing to talk about. But you already seen a video I posted up about them, you know, all that racist shit they was they was talking, doing and shit. I ain't nothing that's a little sm small shit, but uh yeah, I'm just going back and forth, sneaking into my baby mom house to see my son type shit. You know, this I ain't blaming nobody, it's all my fault. I did this shit to myself. You know what I'm saying? I should have been saving correctly, you know what I'm saying? Got a crib instead of trying to do other shit. But you live and you learn, man. You know, like I said, I was still taking care of my son. It was just tough, man. I can't see him. And y'all know how I love spending time with my son. You know, all day, every day. You feel me? And um, I'm over there just chilling, trying to get my life together. You know what I'm saying? I was working, then I quit my job. And then. I started vlogging, and then my motherfucking laptop got broke. Screen still shattered right now, but I be uploading off my TV. I be hooking my H HDMI cord up to my TV, and I be just editing off of there. You know what I'm saying? So <clears throat> my freaking little little brother friend had came over. You no, know, I was at I, I was at I was at Kell House. My little brother, he was having a birthday party and I was in his room editing a video and his friend came in there with a shotgun, cocked it back and I, he was like, get out, everybody get out. I'm thinking somebody robbing the house. So I dropped my laptop. I'm scared, I ain't gonna lie. Clink, clink. I, don't look, I dropped my laptop. I look over at this nigga, he laughing. Oh, you was scared, bro. <laughs> bro. Pick my laptop up, my shit is shattered. I'm looking at this nigga like, bro, you can't be serious right now. You playing with guns and shit, bro? How? Like, ain't you, ain't you grown? You like 19, 20 years old, what you doing playing with guns and shit? You're like, bro, my bad, my bad. Didn't help me get it fixed. He ain't even talking about help, help me get that motherfucker fixed, you know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? That happened, so I stopped vlogging for like six months, six, seven months, man. And then, Kel's birthday was in June, so f fast forward, fast forward June, July, August, September, October, November. So about four or five months later, you know what I'm saying, I'm still living in the same crib, you know what I'm saying. And uh, fuck it, uh, I was, I had got, I had got a new job, got a new gig, and then one day I came home, you know what I'm saying, like five in the morning. And then three hours later, police banging at my door. And into mind y'all, my pops was living there with me because he was on house arrest. So he came over there and we was living in the same house and shit. And like a couple days be before the police came, him and his baby mama got into a fight. They bust out each other windows and shit. Too much going on. You know what I'm saying? Too much going on. So she called the police told him it was drugs in the house and they had came in there came like a couple, couple of days later came in them came in the crib I was I was asleep they banging on the door they raiding the house they tore the attic up they tore my room up they tore every room up in the house looking for these drugs that this lady said was there and there was not no drugs in the house so they police came in Right at the house, you know what I'm saying? Found the little, found the little weed, you know what I'm saying? In case people want to go look up all this shit, you know what I'm saying? They found a couple of, couple of guns of mine. They found a little bit of weed that was mine, you know what I'm saying? And uh, they found some money too, and they found some little pills and shit. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure all this is on record, so I'm just trying, I'm trying not to miss nothing. You know what I'm saying? But they didn't have no warrant to even come inside my house. Cause they, cause they said they was just coming to check my dad's ankle monitor. So I had owned the house, my, my name was on the lease. They didn't have no reason to come in there and do nothing. You know what I'm saying? Without asking me first. And uh, so they they took all my, took all my guns. They took about, they took like, 
like a little bit over a quarter pound of fucking weed. It wasn't a lot, like a half pound or something. I don't know. But they took all that shit. And then me and my daddy got locked up together. Terrible experience. I ain't even gonna lie. My dad and his dad got locked up together, man. You know? That was real tough right there, going through that whole process. And like, like that whole process was just terrible, man. You know what I'm saying? You strip you naked. They do all type of weird ass shit, man. Don't ever go to jail. There ain't no place for nobody. It was dirty in there. It was cold. It was nasty. It was a whole bunch of dudes in there. It's not the place for me. I'm guac. You ain't got to worry about me doing nothing. I wasn't doing nothing to go to jail anyway. I wanted to win. If, you know what I'm saying? People weren't trying to be evil. But, yeah. So, me and my dad got locked up in 2020. And I was just stopped vlogging, man. Just stopped vlogging. Feel me? Cash was having crazy. Cash just had so many ear infections. He had two surgeries last year on his on his on his ears. But thank God, his ears are 100 percent healed now. They're great. He's been doing good for the past six months. Thank God, man. You know, I'm so grateful for that. Feel me? He can hear. He can go swimming now. He can. He can do whatever he want, you know, he ain't, he ain't crying about his ears hurting, he ain't got no blood or pus coming out of his ears no more, you know, and I'm grateful for that, you know what I'm saying, you know, through, through, through all the trials and trials and tribulations, you know, it'd it be, it be some positive stuff happening, you know, you just gotta make it positive, you gotta see the positive, but then all the bad shit going on, so, me and my dad get out, and then two months later, my, my uncle gets shot. You know what I'm saying? Two streets over from my house. My uncle, he he, he all on my channel, man. My uncle, he Lee, he's still here with us. You know what I'm saying? But it was just terrible that that happened. You know what I'm saying? It was just crazy year, man. Crazy year. My uncle got shot. Me and my daddy got locked up. My mom had a baby too. My mom had a baby. I'm the oldest of like nine or ten of us. I'm the oldest. So I'll be having to set examples for everybody, man. It's, it ain't easy, but it ain't hard either. But man, I got to take care of my son, myself, and all my brothers and sisters. You know what I'm saying? And I got to be an example. <gasps> got to be a great example for them, man. You know what I'm saying? I just want to show y'all that I'm working. You feel me? Even though shit might be going on, I'm still human. I'm still working on getting better and better every day. I ain't backtracking though. I ain't about to go sell no more. I ain't sell. I know I said it in one of my other videos. I wasn't really grinding like that. I wasn't doing nothing. Going to work. Everybody know I got had a job. Wasn't selling no weed. Wasn't doing nothing. You know what I'm saying? I'm just being trans trans transparent. You feel me? I ain't doing that shit. Y'all can have that. Call me whatever you want. I ain't trying to go to jail. I'm trying to be here for my son. I'm going to be here for him. I'm not. I'm cool. It's a million ways to get money out here, and I ain't gotta sell no dope, sell no weed. I ain't gotta do none of that shit, bro. That shit is over. With. I can make this big money off YouTube. I can make money doing other stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I started my own own cleaning service. I'm about to start my own lock here. I'm about to start doing a lot. I want to get paid off this YouTube shit. I'm going to get paid off this YouTube, man. Sitting on my butt, giving good advice, being myself, being happy, getting paid to do what I want. That's just, this is what I want to do right here. I don't care about really doing nothing else. I just, I just want to show y'all my life. I want to be myself. I want Cash to come look back at this stuff in 15 years. Like, dang, my daddy came up from the bottom. He really, and he got it all on camera. That's what I want him to see. Y'all see my hair growing. Y'all see my hair growing healthy, wealthy, baby. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, back to 20, 2020, you know, all that COVID stuff was going on. I was sick, Cash was sick. You know what I'm saying? I was getting fired from my job and shit. 
I, I got fired from my job in 2020. Easy little gig. Easy gig, you know what I'm saying? Um, and, 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 the, and, the, and the guy fired me because, you know, I, my, cause my son was sick and I had to keep taking him to the doctor and all that type of stuff and all, and he didn't like that, he didn't care. I think I'm gonna put a job over my son. And, and he was a black man too. He was a black man. He was a black dude, man. It was crazy. He was real lame. You can see he was a cornball dude. He didn't have no he was lame. Super, super, super lame. Probably should get punked in school and all type of stuff. He was a goofball. But that nigga fired me, bro. I sent him I, I sent him a little text. You know what I'm saying? Cause he answered my phone call. I was like, don't even worry about it. You just saved me. I ain't I ain't gonna work ever again. I don't need y'all need no I don't I ain't gonna put my life in none of y'all hands no more. Fuck that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna be doing me like that. Like what if I needed this motherfucking job? And my son needed pampers and all the y'all I just didn't care. Don't fire me because my son was sick you know what I'm saying? Could have been. I I could have had COVID, anything. He didn't even ask. He's like, oh, you, you just can't even come back, bro. You done missed three days. Three days of work. Whatever. Fuck that. I'm a boss anyway. I'm a I'm a millionaire. I don't need them to feed my son, feed my feed me. Help me. That 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 job ain't gonna give me no scat pack, bro. You know what I'm saying? But this YouTube shit gonna give me whatever I want. That big crib, that big house, that big nice ass car, you know what I'm saying? You know, I, I just been working on myself mentally, physically. I've been praying, you know, I converted to Islam I, in my January, February, I've been working out, getting stronger up here. You know what I'm saying? Getting getting stronger inside my body, getting stronger in the heart. You know what I'm saying? Because that's all that that that's counts in this world. You know what I'm saying? That's what God want me to do. He don't want me to go to work for somebody for all the rest of my life and get the very little minimum. Very minimum. My check's about three fifty, four hundred a week. That ain't nothing. That ain't nothing. You know what I'm saying? It's really not. People, people making ten thousand dollars a week, five thousand a week, shit, two thousand a week. That's a lot of money. Two bands a week. That's eight thousand a month. That's sweet. That's sweet money right there. That ain't nothing. That's that's more than the average person. Fifteen hundred a week. That's six bands a month. Ain't nobody really doing that. I don't know nobody making that much money working. Nobody. Not one person. Fifteen hundred a week? Nope. Can't name one person. You know what I'm saying? And I wasn't happy on the word. I was happy doing this vlog thing. I was happy. I just wasn't giving the hundred percent. I need to give things a hundred percent and then I'ma see. I'ma see the results, man. Cause you can bullshit for six months and you're gonna see the results. I ain't never really worked hard at something for six months. Ever in my life. Except when I was going to the boxing gym or and I was fucking around. And that shit came a part of me. I want to be a part of something healthy and happy, man. You know what I'm saying? I've been having this stuff on my freaking vision board since last year. Y'all already seen it. This ain't nothing new. But I'm executing it all. And y'all about to see it. I ain't talking about it no more. This is just a video to keep y'all, to bring y'all back, man. Because I've been losing views. I was doing 100 views and stuff. I was doing 80 views on my, just just now starting out. You know what I'm saying? That's how I know I was on something. But I just stopped. A lot of shit was going on, man. You know what I'm saying? So that was basically 2020, man. 2020 was rough, but it was a blessing. I had seen a lot of stuff, man. I stopped talking. I, I lost a lot of friends. I quit talking to a lot of family members. I quit talking to a lot of people, man, because I seen that they wasn't trying to help me grow. They weren't trying to help me grow, so I had to cut out all the bullshit. If it's not helping, helping out me and my son in a positive way, I don't want to be around you. I don't want to see you. I don't want to talk to you. So it's all love. I ain't got nothing against you, bro. I'm just here. I'm trying to make the best life for my son. And if you can't understand that, then just, just keep it. Then it just, it just is what it is, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's family, the friends, anybody. You know, I talk to people. People be trying to hit me up. They don't ask how, man. They don't ask how my son. They don't ask about none of that shit. They be just want to talk about bullshit. And talk about nothing. Like, like this is the. I ain't the same dude from when I was 20, 21 years old, bro. I'm, I'll be 25 next year. It's time to get rich. I'll be 30 in six years. That's crazy. I can't believe I'm even saying that shit. 
You know what I'm saying? Cassis just turned three this year. It's time to get rich. What the fuck is this? Niggas, I ain't got time to be hanging out with y'all. Hanging out with nobody. No girls, no girl. No. I'm cool. I don't want no pussy. I don't know. I don't care. I don't want that right now. You know what I'm saying? If you're not about to help me create a fucking village, create this wealth and happiness, I don't want to be around you. You know what I'm saying? So. Jump to 2021. Everything was going great, you know what I'm saying? I'll, I'll praise the guy, you know what I'm saying? He got a couple of hiccups, but it's just small peanuts, man. Small peanuts had a lot of blessings, you know what I'm saying? I cut, I cut folks off this year too. I thought I'd never cut off, cut them off, you know what I'm saying? Just small little, small little things, but got a crib, got a car, my son. Still getting taken care of, you know what I'm saying? I, just, I still got improvement to make. I still got things to improve on. I'm not perfect at all. I'm not even trying to act like I am. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting my body together. I'm getting my mind together still. I'm getting everything together. And I just want y'all to be a part of this shit because it's going to be big. It's going to be big, man. It's going to be big. You know what I'm saying? My dad just got off house arrest. Cash is doing great. He's talking. We, we doing a lot of big shit, y'all. I've been, I've been boxing. I've been, I've been shoe. I've been, I ain't making music, but I've been working on myself though. I've been working on myself, man. Working on myself, trying to be great, I'm trying to figure out the next step to make me get to, to that, to that, to that part of myself that I need. I'm just trying to figure myself out, man. I'm trying to cleanse my body. I ain't smoking. I ain't never drunk before, so I mean, drink before. So I'm just cleansing my body out. You know what I'm saying? Taking it one day at a time. Getting, getting to know me. Meditating, praying five times a day. Working out. Getting big. Losing weight. I was 240. I was 240 at the, at the beginning of this year. Two months. I'm gonna let y'all see what I weigh. I'm gonna let y'all see what I weigh in two months and I'm gonna show y'all this ain't no game. I'm gonna show y'all this ain't no game. I'm gonna show y'all I've been working, you know what I'm saying? People can talk, you know what I'm saying? I was talking, but I was I was I was getting shit done. It, it might not uh, it it wasn't as much as I could have did, but I was getting shit done, but now I'm getting shit done. I'm going hundred percent. I know what I need to do. I learned off of last year. I learned from 2000, 2019, 18. 2020 all that I learned from all that shit and I'm getting shit done easy my dad used to always say life is only hard if you make it hard my mom used to always say if you don't do what you gotta do to get to where you want to go you won't get there I never forget those two quotes that both my parents told me because that's all you really need to know you know what I'm saying? It's only hard if you make it hard. And if you want to get there, you got to do what you got to do. And I'm going to show y'all that that's true, man. You know what I'm saying? 2021 has been a blessing. It's been amazing. I can't... I can't say nothing. You know what I'm saying? Few... It's been a few people that, that got kicked out of my life. You know what I'm saying? It's a few folks I never hear from again. You know? And uh, I'm growing as a person. I'm growing mentally, physically, emotionally. I'm growing. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm learning to put a lot of stuff to the side. I'm learning to see stuff for what it is. I'm learning to be more selfless. You know, I'm learning to be to put me and God first, you know what I'm saying? If I don't take care of me, I can't take care of my son. I can't take care of nobody. And if I don't pray to God, give him the praise and give him the love that he deserves, because he's my creator, he wanna put me here. I need to pray to him for, for questions and answers and, and everything. I need to have my connection with him first. And then he gonna help me, then I can help everybody else. So, so I've been working on putting God first every day, waking up 5 a.m. praying. 
get better and better and better and better, baby. And y'all gonna see. Y'all gonna see, man. So, thank y'all for watching. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And it's going up from here on now. I promise y'all. I promise y'all. Yeah, I ain't gonna regret it. You know what I'm saying? Tell friends to come over here and subscribe. And get on this train, man. Get on the Rich Wayne train, man. Y'all need to be going nowhere else. Come over here, man. Help me get rich. Like, comment, subscribe. Watch these videos. I'm going to give something back to y'all when I get to 1,000 subscribers. We're going we gonna to get in that big house. We're going to get in that big car. God already got it sitting there waiting on me. I'm just going to put the work in and go, go and get it, man. Y'all already know. Thank y'all for watching. See y'all on the next video, man.